This scooter goes faster than our Chalari e-bikes, has a bigger battery than a Suron, and somehow goes 50 miles on a charge. It's called the Arvala M11. Let's get it unboxed and hit the streets. I just got off the new M11 and first off, it is terrifying. It has so much power, it is so fast. It's the fastest scooter by far I've ever ridden. So let's now go over all the specs and we're gonna take it for a real ride out on the road. But first, if you guys like this kind of content, scooter reviews, e-bike reviews, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have lots of content on the channel and we have a lot more coming. Okay, let's go over the specs on this scooter. So we mentioned before that this scooter had a 50 mile range. Well, that is wrong. It actually has a 75 mile range. That 50 mile number was for the version of this scooter with a much smaller battery. So that is an incredible range, way more than we would ever guess. This has a 60 volt, 35 amp hour battery, which like we mentioned, is bigger than a Suron X, which is insane as well. The scooter weighs 94 pounds, has massive 11 inch tires, which are way bigger than any scooter we've also had. And it just makes it feel more stable on the road. We have dual suspension that actually has rebound adjust. So you can adjust how quickly it reacts to you. Same shock right here on the front. We have steering assisted damper right here that you can tighten and loosen to make the steering feel stiffer or softer and smoother depending on how fast you're going, how smooth you want it to be. The steering feels really good, very smooth, predictable. It doesn't feel floppy like it does on lots of scooters where you can just wiggle it. So with that, we've got dual hub motors. So motor front and back, each are putting out 1600 watts and we haven't got to the top speed yet. But these motors and this battery push this scooter to over 50 miles an hour. It's quoted at 53 miles an hour. We're gonna see if we can test that later on in the video, but I think it's gonna be pretty scary going 53 on a scooter. Let's move on to the controls, the display, the buttons, and the brakes. So first off, we have an NFC key. We just clipped it right on here. You scan that, you saw it turned off immediately. You scan it again, turns right on. You hit the power button. See our, all our lights come on. We've got lights on the side here. Arvala M11 electric scooter, lights down here. We've got turn signals, which is super cool. You have hazards, so you can do left or right turn signal. If you hit them both, you've got hazards. So you can see it flashing, pretty sweet. Turn them both off. We have a light that you can toggle on with this button. Turn that on for you. We haven't tested it at night yet, but if you look straight into it, it's pretty bright. So I would imagine it's gonna work okay at night. We have a horn. It's kind of a cool sounding horn, to be honest. I haven't heard one that sounds just like that. Okay, let's move on to this display. So we have our speed in the middle, kilometers an hour. You can change it to miles per hour in the app, which we'll show you in a second. We have rear motor and front motor. You can decide whether you want both of them on or you can pick between one or the other. You can actually do only front, only rear. We have our battery voltage right here. We have our battery percentage, which is super nice. A lot of scooters only give you like five or six bars to sort of guess your range. This actually does a nice percentage. We have a clock here. We have our Bluetooth notification here to know if we're connected to the app or not. You can see if you're running both motors, you can see how much current is flowing through the motors. You can see if there's any errors on the scooter. You can see the motor and controller temperatures, which is super cool. And then you have six riding modes. You start in econ mode here. That's probably gonna give you the most range, probably that 75 miles. And then you have mode one, two, three, four, and five. Mode five is fast. Like I can't underestimate how fast mode five is. So that's pretty sweet. Now to move on to brakes, cause if you're gonna go really fast, you gotta be able to stop. And we are really impressed immediately with the braking performance. We have dual hydraulic brakes. So we have one on the front, one on the rear. They both have these cooling pads on them. So they have the cooling fins on top, keep them cool. But that's not the best part. These brakes have brake sensors in them. And when you 
even very lightly pull them, it activates the regen braking, which is essentially the motor running in reverse to slow down the bike. And so you can barely pull these brakes and before you're even grabbing the rotor, it's slowing down the scooter really hard. So you have tons of control. If you need to slow down in a hurry, you definitely can. Okay, let's talk about the app really quick. So Alex here has the app downloaded and you can basically do everything you need to do. So it looks very similar to what you have on the display, but you can change tons of settings in here. You can even see all the different specs of each cell inside your battery, which is some super cool settings for a scooter. I've never seen any settings like this come stock on a scooter. You can change so much stuff. You really have full control and it connected really easy for us. Do you have anything to add, Alex, with the yeah. app? The only thing that I wanna add is as soon as you click anything on here, it changes directly on the screen. It changes that. I can turn the motors on and off. It turns them off, turns that one on. Anything you wanna change, it changes right on here. You can change your current, you can change the actual LEDs that run along the scooter. You have so much control in the app and it's pretty sweet. I'm sure it's kind of hard to see the different screens on camera. Maybe we'll do a little overlay in the video to kind of show you guys how well thought out the app is, but we've been pretty impressed with it. You do have these tactile buttons. The screen is not touch screen, which I think is fine because when you're actually riding the scooter, it's gonna be really hard to reach over and try to touch a, this screen. So I think tactile buttons work well. We also have a thumb throttle instead of a trigger throttle. So a lot of scooters have a trigger throttle. We actually really like a thumb throttle and I'm excited to kind of get used to this specific scooter with the thumb throttle. I think it's gonna make me feel a little bit more comfortable on it. So this is the on-road street version of the Arvilla M11. They do have a dirt version that comes with knobby or dirt tires. We're having those tires sent to us and we're gonna swap them over because we're gonna be doing a second video on this scooter where we're gonna actually compare it to our Telaria Sting electric dirt bike that goes a similar speed and has a similar battery. So we're gonna be ripping this scooter off-road, really comparing the two. So stay tuned for that video in the future. We did notice on the off-road specific version, it it seems like it comes with a trigger throttle. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for one or the other. I'm sure that either scooter can do the opposite of what it was specifically designed for if you get the right tire. So this scooter with the dirt tires is gonna work the same as the dirt one would, hence just a slightly different throttle. Let's talk about the quick folding capabilities and then charging situation. So for quick folding, you pull this knob and you're gonna release this bad boy, which you want to be pretty tight because you wanna keep that steering nice and tight. You undo that, you pop this down, you fold this out, and it will latch right on like that. And you can actually lift it. It's 94 pounds, so it is a little bit heavy, but it is possible to lift it. Pop that out, gonna go back up, snap that on, pop it in, and then make sure that is nice and snug, and you're good to go. Okay, so for charging, we have dual charging ports. We have one right here and one right here on the other side. They give you one charger in the box and it takes a whopping 13 hours to charge this scooter. If you buy another charger secondhand, then you can have two chargers and it only takes you six and a half hours. That's a lot quicker. So that's a long charging time. Like, don't be mistaken by that because our Telarias take four hours and they have an even bigger battery. But this battery is so big and the range on the scooter is so far that if you're only cruising this around the town or you're going five to 10 miles a day, like you could last a week without charging this scooter. So keep that in mind, you can plug it in overnight and I'm sure you're gonna be just fine with the charging time on this. We're gonna head out on a ride, but before that, I just gotta mention the build quality of this scooter. It is so well built, so sturdy. Look at that purple, it looks super sick. I mean, most people aren't gonna pick purple, but I love that, that is so cool. That's our Tellari XXX. Yes, we designed that purple graphics kit, so it just happened to work out really well. Okay, but look at this M11 next to your typical $400 electric scooter. Like, this is a nice scooter, it works. Look at that, it's not even a comparison. Like, this just looks like a little toy now. This thing's sweet. Okay, we're gonna head out on a ride. Do you wanna race, Alex? Let's do it, I think I'm gonna win. Yeah, right. I'm in mode zero, bye. All right, you guys, we are out on the Arvilla M11 scooter. First impressions, we kind of went over all the specs. First impressions is it is extremely fast, extremely smooth, extremely quiet, 
and the brakes are amazing. That regen braking is absolutely insane. So currently I'm cruising in power level three. If you guys can kind of see the screen there. And power level three is a pretty good spot. The throttle's nice and smooth. I still got lots of power. I mean, I can really pick it up and cruise at a really nice kind of comfortable speed. Also, if you guys are interested in purchasing this scooter, there will be a link down in the description of the video to Arvila's website. They just redesigned their website. It looks awesome. They've got all the specs and info that you need. This scooter retails for $3,700 with the 60 volt 35 amp hour larger battery size if you want this scooter with the smaller battery the 26 amp hour you're looking at two thousand seven hundred dollars you can save a bit of cash you'll still get the same power same top speed and all that just not be able to go quite as far i'm really curious to see how far this scooter really goes i think it's gonna go a long ways as it's just easy it's smooth it's quiet it's easy it's a nice silent night cruiser, you know, cruising around the town. Holy cow, this regen braking is so strong. Just really pulls. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this scooter, it's definitely a very premium scooter. You know, this is not just for cruising around the neighborhood. I think it's going to be overkill for doing that. But if you like to go really cruise around your city, your town, really be able to like almost hold your own in traffic, this is gonna do it. You know, we do a lot of e-bikes and other electric vehicles on this channel. We, we ride them all the time. And they're kind of just all for different purposes. I really like an e-bike, I kind of prefer that myself. But this being the nicest scooter we've ridden, it's honestly incredible and it's super fun to get out on. I'm kind of cruising a little slower just so I can talk to you guys, so you guys can hear me over the wind. But I can assure you this scooter goes way faster than I'm currently riding it. Almost too fast for me. Ready? Okay. Wait. Am I rolling? Yeah, you're both you're both rolling the same. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh! I'm full throttle. That X is so fast. I'm still full throttle. He's he's gapping me. Full throttle. He's going 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. 50. That thing's crazy. Is that scary? It's so smooth. My goodness. Was that, that was crazy. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. For you. So, I mean, you were with me for just a yeah, second. Yeah, so I was with him for a good amount of time, and then and then we just sort of held, like, he pulled a little, and then we just held consistent. Mm -hmm. I was floored the entire time, and you were, you were passing me. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I mean, this has a higher top speed than that does. Yeah. Than that does, so eventually I would pass. Yeah. Alex. You, uh, but I don't really want to go 50 plus for that long. Do you think we should do a quick uh, top speed test to see if the 53 miles per hour is yeah. real? Do we have you want to do that again? Yes. What? Do you want to do that again? I can do it. All right. Lance is coming up. Look how fast he is going. Oh, oh my, my goodness. He's crazy. Oh my gosh. Shaking his head. Lance is scared. What what you got? This thing's fast. <laughs> and I was kind of scared because that dog, I saw that dog and I was like, I'm breaking hard. And then the regen, it breaks you so hard. We saw your tail wobbling as it was going down. Like as I was breaking? Little, yeah. Yeah. Little speed wobbling. I'm breaking hard. So the app that Arvala has actually has so many different options that you can do on it. You can change the headlight on, you can change it from kilometers to miles per hour, you can change the LEDs, there's so much stuff on there. But what we've found is that it's a little glitchy. Sometimes when you switch the motors on and off, it likes to lock both of them. And you'd think that for a premium product like this, the app would be a little bit easier to use. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I kind of wish our Telarias had an app like that, that you could just change different currents and motor temp, you could see your motor temp, but 
This, we've found, is a little glitchy. We've put the scooter in miles per hour on the app, but every time we turn it off, it goes back to kilometers an hour. So I'd love a way to just set it permanently two miles per hour. But as, as I've been riding this for the last little bit, the steering dampener is the best thing for me. On the other scooters that we've tried, you, you get these speed wobbles. On this, I'm not getting them at all. The speed dampener, you can just tighten it and loosen it and make it much more stable to ride on. And paired with these massive tires. These tires, I don't know if you've seen, they're thicker than our Talaria tires. They're massive. In a later video, we're gonna be putting dirt tires on this thing and putting it to the test, seeing what it can do. I think it's gonna rip. Look at these lights. You can just change them on the app too. Okay, we're coming up on a big hill. I'm gonna turn it to mode five. I've just been cruising in mode two. Look at me, Reed can't even keep up. I'm too fast. I'm coming up on Lance. I'm going 39 miles an hour up a steep hill and I'm about to buzz Lance. Hey -oh. You couldn't even keep up. I hit 50 miles an hour on the screen, I saw it. This thing is crazy, crazy fast. And you can also adjust each, dip, each specific mode in the app. We just haven't done it yet because we're a little scared. We're a little scared that it might mess everything up. One thing I have liked is after coming up from that 50 mile an hour, the brakes and the regen are amazing. You just, you feel so solid, it regens it and it feels smooth. It doesn't feel like you're using too much braking power just because the motors are able to keep up and slow you down. So on the screen, it's telling me that the motors are actually keeping cool, that's really awesome. So far on this ride, we've got 9.2 miles and we're at 83% still. Keep in mind, we're climbing crazy hills, pushing top speeds and just messing around. This thing can definitely keep up with the Talarias and I'm excited to see how far we can take this scooter. All right, this is Reed hopping on the scooter for a minute. We're headed back. I just wanna say this is the first vehicle we've tested that while filming it, I could not keep up with it. Alex was going so fast, I just couldn't keep up. The suspension on this is awesome. I'm excited to put those off-road tires on and go give it a real off-road test. The regen is crazy. <laughs> That's wild, you can just stop. <laughs> Caught me off guard. I think they absolutely nailed this scooter. I can't think of anything that I would do differently, which is crazy. If they could just get that app dialed, I think, I think this thing's good to go. I thought it would be scary to go 50 miles an hour on this scooter, but it makes it comfortable, which is crazy. I can't believe this thing's this good. I mean, for a $3,700 price, it should be good. But it is, they did it. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up our first video on the Arvala M11. We just got back from our first ride. We actually rode 15 miles to film all the clips that you guys just saw. During that time, we are at 73% battery. So we only burned a quarter of the battery to ride over 15 miles with all those top speed drags you saw us do, those hill climbs, all that messing around. So I am, I think this scooter is gonna really go a long ways. In our next video, we'll be put, really putting it to the test with the off-road wheels. We'll be taking it up on some trails, doing some more drag races with our Talaria e-bikes and also kind of doing an intermittent range test during all that. We're gonna ride it till it's dead. So we're gonna see how many miles it really can go. But all in all guys, we're super impressed with it. It is a very premium product. The price reflects that, $3,700. It's an expensive scooter. There are even more expensive, expensive ones on the market, but you are getting a premium product. It is very sturdy. The, uh, the lights look sick. I mean, the battery range, you're getting the whole package with this scooter. So if you're interested in it, check our description of the video. Head over to Arvala's website, get yourself an M11 with the big battery, or you could even do the small battery if you don't need 70 miles of range. 
It's pretty crazy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Telaria Boys channel. We have a lot more scooter videos coming, e-bike videos, electric dirt bike videos, part installs, everything you guys are gonna need for the electric world. We love doing it. We had a blast on this scooter. We'll catch you guys next video. See ya. See ya. All right, time to plug it in for six more hours.